In this video, we are going to see about experiment number two, working with data. The aim of this experiment is to explore two Python libraries used in data science. Number one is NumPy, numerical Python. The second one is Pandas, Python for data analysis or data science. So talking about the NumPy, numerical Python, it provides high dimensional array objects. It is very good library, Python library for array computations, these array, array computations. It has many libraries. The dimensions of NumPy is called as uh, axis. The data is called as the ND array. And it is fast, convenient, and it consumes less memory, right? So now we will see few commands used in NumPy and how it is, we'll see how it is very convenient for computation in data science. So to start with, we have to import NumPy as NP. So NP will be used throughout the program to call the NumPy library. So let me say a variable A equal to NP dot array of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when I print A, it just print the value. So now it is a one dimensional array. It has one dimension and it has uh, values from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now let us see how to create a two dimensional array. Say I, I just take a variable B and NP dot array of, so I'll put 1, 2, 3, 4, and then the second row, okay, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then the third one, 9, 10, 11, 12. So let me print B. Yes, now the two, dim it's a three-dimensional array with four values in every row, right? So now suppose I say print b of 0. Let's find out. It prints the first row, right? It prints the first row. So you can even very simply create an array of zeros using the command. So let me say print np dot zeros of maybe I say four values. Okay. I would like to create an np array of zeros, which has all four values. So now you see it creates an array and all the values of the array is zero. Similarly, I can even print np dot ones, an array of ones. Okay. So uh, we'll just print it. Now you see that it creates all ones. So by default, you would observe that it is in the floating point. Okay. Now how to convert that into an integer? We'll check it out. So let me create an array x is equal to np dot ones of four comma d type. The data type I would like to specify as in 64. Right. And then I print x. So here you have to give np dot 64. Now it prints a single dimensional array of four ones, okay, with integer 64. So any type of array you can create and you can convert um, integer array into float, float array into complex and all those, there are many data types available. You can just verify the NumPy documentation, documentation for further um, data types, right? Now you can even create an array print, np dot empty an empty array of four you can do that okay okay now i have created an array of four then you can also create an array like this np dot a range okay i just put a range of four okay now it creates an array of 0, 1, 2, 3. It creates an array of 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now, even you can specify the steps for creating the array. I say np dot a range of, I say that the minimum value should be 2, the maximum value should be 9, and the step should be 2. Okay. Now, it just creates the minimum value is 2, and the maximum value is less than. Um, nine and it creates value in the step of two. Okay, so that is also possible. 
Now we will see few uh, computation based commands which takes place in this array. So let us take, I just create an array of np dot array of 12, 45, 78, 9, 2, 4, 3. So just we have created a small array. So we'll also print <coughs> print that array. So now we could see that it is printed. Suppose I want to sort it, I can just give np dot sort of arr, right? So now you could see that you are getting the array in the sorted manner. Similarly, I can create a small array np array of 1, 2, 3. Similarly, I have created b equal to np dot array of 3, 4, 5. Right? And now I wish to join these two array. So I, I can just put np np dot concatenate. The command is concatenate. Okay, and I can give a comma b. So you can sorry for that. Yes, now I create I have created an array A, then B. So to concatenate, we have give we have put np dot concatenate a comma b and now print c. We were able to concatenate both the arrays. Now we can check out the next few operations in an array. I just create an array equal to np dot array of uh, One, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> comma six. So print array. So now it's printing an array. Suppose I wish to know a few parameters about this array. So arr dot dimension of an array. Just give this. It is single dimension array. Similarly, arr dot shape of this array. Now it gives that there are six values in this uh, array. Similarly, arr dot size. What is the size of this array? So that now size is six. There are six elements. So the size is six. So now you can even reshape the array. Okay. So how do I reshape it? Arr. So let me say b equal to arr dot reshape. You can convert one dimensional array into two dimensional using the command reshape. So just three comma 2. I have reshaped. Then I wish to print D. So, so when we observe, we could understand that it has been converted into three rows and two values. Three rows array with two values. So, you can even reshape to any number of rows and any number of columns by giving the value. Okay. So, you reshape. This is how you will reshape it. And how do I slice it? For example, let me take an array. Uh, the same, this one. And I just give ARR of 0, colon, 2. So this is how you will index the array. Okay, so you see that the 0th number and the first number is printed. Like how you index a list, it works here as well. So ARR of 1. So what is ARR of 1? The first value will get disturbed. This uh, display. Similarly, you will have negative indexing as well. So you can have negative index. So one after the last value is printed. So this is possible. Similarly, you can even have certain operations on this array. So now let us see what are the different operations that we can perform in this array. For example, I can do arr.sum, the function arr.sum, just add all the values of this array in this array, right? 
And one more function, ARR dot max, will print the maximum value of the array. And ARR dot min will print the minimum number of this array. Okay, and similarly, we have, um, suppose I just create an array. We'll take the same. And we'll have, so let's find out what it is printing as NP dot unique of ARR. So now we understand that only the repeated values are eliminated and only the unique values are taken. All right. So now let us see some arithmetic operations in the array. So I wish to create two array data equal to NP dot array of 10 comma 20 comma 30 and data 1 equal to NP dot array of again 20 comma 30 comma 40. So these are the two arrays that we have created. Let's execute it. Now we can do data plus data 1. So this is um, that much convenient the addition. The arithmetic operation is that much convenient using NumPy. So that is just one command. Similarly, I can give data minus data 1. So that is that will give you the subtraction. Similarly, data into data, the multiplication, right? And I can even give data divided by data 1. So that is also possible. So it is very simple. The arithmetic operations are very simple. Now we will see how we can do with conditional uh, statements, how we can easily uh, put about conditional statements. So for that, I wish to create a new array. So I'll have 20, 30, 40, 25, 30, 5, and 90. So this is an array. Okay. This is an array. Now we can even have print. All right. So I wish to have a conditional statement array and array less than um, 30. So say it's less than 30. All right. So I wish to print only the values less than 30. So this is possible. So you can have the conditions in this way. Array, then within a square bracket, what is your condition? Okay, so this is a condition and you are executing the condition on this array. So whatever condition you have, put it in a square bracket. You can even have uh, two conditions. For example, I say print mm, what? array. Okay, so what you have to do with this array is say array um, less than 30 okay and you also take let me have it the conditions array less than 30 and okay so then array less than or it should be less than 30 and greater than 10. All right. Or greater than. Less than 29 and greater than 10. So this is a condition. Okay. And let me close the print statement as well. I will see if it is getting yes. Now there are two numbers with this condition. And those two numbers are getting printed. So now there is no numbers less than 20 and greater than 10 null. So a null array is getting printed. So this, these are different conditional statements. So now in this video, we saw uh, initially how to create arrays, how to create uh, arrays with zeros, ones and empty. Then how can you create an array of a range? Okay. 
then we saw how to sort an array then we saw how to display the parameters of an array how to reshape an array and then we saw few operations on array few functions that you can execute on an array and then arithmetic operations on an array and conditional operations on an array similarly you can even uh, write the values of array to a excel okay so how we can do it let's see with an example so this is an array that i have created a equal to np array and it has so many values so the the command is np dot save text of the file name comma a okay this is an array a so you have to just it's very simple just the function save text will do it suppose you want to take the value from it and bring it back to a, your file it is also again np dot load text of and new file dot csv so that is as simple as writing into a file and getting the data from a file. So this is how you will do that.